what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel returning viewers hey channel members what's up what's up what's up um let's get right into today's video let's get right into today's video so first things first um as of recently we have seen cardi b and offset together yes they were seen linked up okay um now this is all at the wave birthday party okay aka their son and many people are speculating and wondering are these people back together? And was the whole divorce thing a PR stunt? Okay. Um, now, if you ask me personally, I feel like low key, no shade. Um, Offset always finds his way back into Cardi B's life at these birthday parties. Okay. Um, it's always the birthday parties where he tries to slip back into her life. All right. Every time she's trying to leave and get divorced, he always shows how good of a father he is and how he loves his family so much and next thing you know they back on instagram together posted up in the bed okay so if you ask me i think personally um i don't think that they're together but i feel like they were just obviously co-parenting for their son's birthday party and you know there's nothing wrong with that you know i feel like some people are just so used to you know the toxic household where people are just not linking up and they just don't show up to the child's birthday event because of their own personal issues with the parents now, I think co-parenting is very, very healthy, okay? Low-key, no shade. But I do feel like low-key, no shade. I can see Cardi B going back to Offset again. Yep, I can see it. She's not She's not, She's not. not that strong when it comes to, you know, feeling for herself and being independent like that. You know, she needs help to write music. She can't write music herself. You know, she needs help to, you know, do things that are like just common and that are expected from her to do but low key no shit i mean having a man in the household raising a family that is what families are supposed to be i mean all jokes aside but that's what it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be a man in the house you know what i'm saying like taking care of the kids and you taking care of the kids too not just one way street but i do not think that cardi b is officially done with offset okay i feel like these are little events that, that happen for the kids is what's going to make her fold and make her go back to that man because Low key, I think that she she just I don't know something about Offset she just can't leave. Like I mean I'm pretty sure she probably texted him after this event like saying like what you doing what you doing boo what you doing what you doing okay she probably texted him that after after this whole birthday party was over okay I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure all right but yes comment down below how do y'all feel about that do you all want to see Offset and Cardi be back together okay now me personally no she no. No. Okay, I was a little bit irritated that, that they were even in this video clip together for the child. Okay? No. All right? Because people love to, you know, be doing sneaky stuff. All right? And disguise it as, oh, I'm just here for the kids. No, you're not. You're here because you're trying to win me back over. Okay? No shade. But no, let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to Miss JT. Okay? Um, JT is out here selling out her show for her city cinderella world tour well not okay okay look look, look. all right now it, it, it ain't no damn world tour okay it's not a world tour but it's a domestic tour all right and she is selling it's sold out all right um her new york city day is going crazy okay congratulations jt um many people did not believe that this tour would do well okay many people thought that you know it wouldn't really do that many numbers and she wouldn't really have that much people tuning into the tour but people are actually coming now it's not like she's touring arenas so she is doing theaters but she is selling out the theater venues and she is doing pretty good at these theaters okay so you know i'm all here for starting small and then growing up big okay i'm all here for humble beginnings because you know humble beginnings baby they help you get to where you need to be in life okay if you always want to be doing it big every single second every single hour you're going to always be disappointed okay you have to start small you have to start small you started small you were once a sperm cell now you are an adult you see how it took you like 25 years or 30 years to get to where you are today exactly things take time things take time mansions are not built overnight rome was not built in a day okay but you know what what was built in a day your envious heart because you've been like that since day one Okay, stop being envious towards JT. People are saying, oh, well, Glorilla's out here doing um, arena shows and she came out here after JT. JT been here for a long time and she's, you know, debuted after JT. And next thing you know, JT came and sell arenas out. Well, let's be very clear here. JT 
and Glorilla are in two different lanes. And Glorilla had to sit down with Megan Thee Stallion and sign a contract to get her ass into, into arenas with Megan. Okay, so it wasn't just like it was Glorilla's name that brought in autumn people for the arena tour. Okay, no, it was Megan and Glorilla, okay, who brought in those people. Not just not just Glow. Okay, let's be very clear. Not not, not just Glow. Okay, but I don't know. A lot of a lot of Glorilla fans are really bashing JT and saying she's a flop. She's She's flopping, you know, you was all under Nicki Minaj's, you know, messages and da da da, da and you know, you was deriding her fans and you still flopping and Nicki gave you a co-sound and you still flopping and all this rah rah, your album, it came out one week, did numbers one week, next week is off the charts. They basically saying that she's a flop. She's a flop girl, okay? She went from being a city girl to a flop girl. Now, actually, no, the real flop girl is Young Miami, okay? She's the one going out, going out sad right now. Not no JT, okay? Um, so please be respectful to JT. She's working hard. All right. Um, but I do want to know what happened between her and Nikki, though. OK, that, that's that's going to really be the, be the deciding factor of her career. OK, no shade. The deciding factor of JT's career is whatever happened behind the scenes between her and Nikki, whatever, whenever that gets, gets exposed, whenever that gets, you know, revealed to us, then we're going to know what's really going on. What's really T. OK, but as of right now, we got to stick it out. OK, stick it out. Now walk it out. Now walk it out. Oh no, I'll get out. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's move on to this next topic, all right? All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into Nikki. Well, well, well. Okay. Um, Nikki is really getting ready for this new era, y'all. This new era is coming. It's coming. It's finna it's listen, it's gonna be a magical time. It's gonna be a very, 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 very magical moment in history, okay? Um, Nicki Minaj could be the first female rapper to have a rap album spend multiple weeks at number one this century since Lauren Hill with her deluxe album, okay? Um, she already was the first female rapper to debut solo at number one with SFG since Lauryn Hill um, in 2022, okay? So the deluxe version of this album could make history. Do you all see it happening, okay? Um, let's clock that T. Now, I feel like it could happen, but I feel like for it to really, really happen, she would have to have a hit single out right now because... You know that would do the do promotion for the project because right now we have so many heavy heavy hitters right now so many heavy hitter albums are out right now sabrina carpenter you know she's heavy hitter um you know billy eilish T travis scott you know it's like so many people are pushing out these albums right now that are heavy hitters i'm not saying nikki isn't a heavy hitter at all either i'm just saying as of right now you know taylor swift you know the pop girls are dominating Okay, the pop girls are definitely hitting hard. So if Nicki does drop a single pretty soon in time enough for the deluxe to come out, I think we 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 definitely gonna have a number one album. But I mean, I feel like when the album comes out, it could be a top three, top three, maybe top four for sure. Uh, but let me tell you this right now, it's definitely gonna have the most pure sales for any female rapper this year. I promise you that. I promise you that. Okay, because these female rap girls can't sell. I don't know what hap what's happening right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the tea is right now, but like nobody's selling right now. Okay, so Nikki is going to continue to, you know, have that record of being the most sales. You know, what's new, what's new, what's new. Okay, are we shocked? No, we're not shocked at all. Okay, but let's chat down below. Okay, um, I'm the, the song like I told y'all, the, the song I am most excited for is the Arctic Tundra song with Juice World. RP to Juice World, y'all. RP to Juice World, but I'm so ready for it. I'm ready for it, okay? I'm so excited for that song. Yes, 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 okay? Now, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Nicki also says that there are surprise features on PF2 Deluxe album, Gag City Reloaded. Any guesses who they might be, okay? Um, I, I need uh, Rihanna. I need uh, Sabrina Carpenter. And I need a, hmm... Who else do I want? She gonna put Drake on there. I don't want Drake on this album. I'm sorry. Please leave Drake off of it, okay? Um, now, me personally, um, I feel like Nicki be hyping up the features, and next thing you know, it'd be people like Skang and like Bia. No shade to them, but like, nothing wrong with those artists at all, but it's like, I just be thinking like, okay, girl, all right now. Oh, we need Ariana Grande. We need Ariani. Is it giving Ariani? Is it giving Ariani? It should be Nicki, okay? Um, people saying it's gonna be Akbar on this album. We don't want Akbar either, okay? No shade, no shade to neither of them, okay? We don't want neither, uh, no shade, okay? I'm seeing people want Kendrick Lamar. Um, Nicki wouldn't do that to Drake. Nicki would not do that to Drake. As much as Drake dogs out Nicki, Nicki would never do that to Drake. I'm sorry, Nicki, she's just too loyal, okay? 
So she would never hop on here and do a Kendrick Lamar song. And I mean, it's just like, wow, well, no. Okay, she's just too, she's just too loyal. She's too sweet. She's too kind. Nicer than me. Okay, but yes, comment down below. What's y'all opinion on this? What's y'all opinion on that? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. What you Moving on to Rick Ross, aka Saucy Santana, aka Potato. Um, uh, let's get into it. So apparently, as of recently, y'all, Saucy Santana is so messy. He's just so freaking messy. So there was a girl, okay, who was posting a um, video on her social media platform, okay? And Saucy Santana goes in the comments of this girl's video and says, he wants the woman to remove Nikki's song from her post and replace it with Lotto's song, okay? So basically, he's saying that the girl needs to not use Nicki Minaj's music on her videos and just use Lotto's music. What? What? Rick Ross, what are you talking about? Huh? What do, you, what do you mean, Rick Ross? What do you mean, Maybach Music? What do you mean, Maybach Music? Okay, I'm confused. Why would you go in this girl's comments and tell her that she can't use Nicki Minaj's music? Who are you? Who are you? It's always, like, it's always the gay best friends who are so messy. Like, you know, Lotto and Saucy Santana are real cool. Real close, real cool, right? Why are you being messy for? And to me, what irritates me is always the gays that are, like, best friends with these people who are always trying to get them in more drama. Like, can you please stop? Like, just stop. Like, people, the gays love the mess. Now, granted, is it okay to be messy every once in a while? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. But when you're starting to include other people's names in your mess, that's irritating. It, it, it becomes a bit annoying, okay? If you, want, if you want to be messy, okay, cool. Be messy with your name and, and have your name stirred into some drama. But why are you trying to drag Lotto and Nikki into some type of feud again? You're being messy and you're being childish, okay? You're being, you're being really, like, annoying here, okay? Uh, but so Santana, when are you going to get a hit? When was the last hit that you got, Tans uh, 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 Rick Ross? Okay, what's going on here? I don't understand. Wasn't he on live begging Nicki for a feature? Now you're telling people not to use Nicki Minaj songs in their music, but the whole time you want to be on a Nicki Minaj song? I'm just, I'm just, it doesn't, nothing is adding up here, okay? Them back rows get into his head, no shade. Okay, that's the problem, okay? That's the problem. And people are saying, people are saying, oh, well, you know, certain songs just fit with certain videos and a certain aesthetics. So that's why he's saying that she needs to use a lotto song that doesn't make any sense you, you, like why like, it's her page it's her social media page she can use she can use whatever song she want to use if she want to use cupcake song called deep throat let her use that song who are you tana who are you saucy santana to say that like please everybody be so annoying me these days i don't know what's going on i just be like girl be quiet okay but yes comment down below maybe saucy santana didn't mean any harm behind it we're gonna chat we're gonna see what's going on we're gonna see what's tea okay yes 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 comment down below let's move on to this next topic he needs to i don't know like maybe get offline for a little bit and like you know focus on your music career okay let's move on to this next topic all right y'all moving on to megan Thee stallion um megan Thee stallion's newest biggest collab has been announced yes it has been announced and she is going to be up here collaborating with bts member you know the k-pop group um and megan Thee stallion and r emma bts new song never play drops this friday okay Okay, so it seems like Megan Thee Stallion is trying to be more into the international market. I think she realized that her market is not American anymore. Her market is not United States of America. Uh, recently, she had a hit song, the Japanese song, that went crazy viral. Now she's doing collaborations with BTS members, okay? So she's trying to be an international artist. And this is, this is important. I think this is very important because when she went into her international tour leg of her Hot Girl Bummer tour, I'm sorry, Hot Girl Summer tour, I realized that, like, I think she noticed, too, that she's not an international act yet. She's not international yet. She is popping in America and, you know, Canada, all that stuff, right? But she's not popping overseas. So I feel like her getting more collaborations and more, you know, music out to that demographic will help her grow as an international artist. And I think she realized that. I think her and Rock Nation had a meeting and said, you know what? Megan, you need to be more you know, more cultural and more culturally inclusive to these other people who are not American, okay? And you cannot keep rapping about your butt, okay? Let's stop that right now. You cannot keep rapping about your bum bum because that's not going to get you no mun mun, okay? I mean, it, it will get you money on for like a short term, but like in the long run, it won't work. It just simply will not, it just can't, you know what I'm saying? It just won't work like that for real, for real. But yeah, I can see Megan being an um, international act now. Uh, you know, she has this, the song, uh, I'm a star, I get money, okay? But what I want her to really do is drop the freaky visuals, okay? I'm sorry, but all that freaky stuff is cool, but it's, it's not going to get her to... Like, you're not pushing your creativity. If every every video is you naked, you're not pushing any boundary with your art. You're just naked with different backgrounds and themes. That's it. 
Like, you need to change that up. Like, for real. If you want to be this international big star, you have to, like, create different auras around your character. And if your character is always naked, there's no way we can play into the character because you don't have any, you, you don't have any clothes on. So that whatever character you play, you just naked. So it's like characters typically have certain colors, certain outfits, certain themes, certain aesthetics, certain vibes. But if the character is always naked, like we can't, like you know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. But yes, um, comment down below. Can y'all see this little girl being a international act? Um, I can see it. Yes. But like I said, she gonna have to switch up some things, you know. By the time she does, you know, want to be a mainstream international act, okay? Uh, yes. Comment down below. Let's move on to this next topic, okay? Okay. Moving on to Dochi's new album. Um, her album is actually doing pretty decent, okay? As you all may or may not know, but Dochi, um, she just dropped the album, yes. And people don't know that yet. People, a lot of people, do, a lot, a lot of people do not know that she dropped an album, okay? Um, and it's top ten on iTunes, yes. Okay, people are saying it is the best rap album that was released this year. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Very, very, very. Um, Alligator Bites Never Heal. That is the name of the album. Wow, that's a deep meaning, isn't it? <laughs> Real deep in it. <laughs> it's crazy. Dochi earns her biggest streaming day on Spotify in nearly a year following the release of her new project. Now, this is good. I think that Dochi definitely is talented, but I feel like people are not interested in her for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I feel like her, like, like marketing is, like, really weak. It's very, very, very weak. It's like, she has great content, but her marketing is just very, 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 like, it's not strong enough to support the amazing talent here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but um, we're going to see what's going on here. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, you know, wasn't she on stage with Doja Cat? Okay, I don't know what happened with that. Like, you know, you would typically think that the Doja Cat, you know, success would rub off on her a little bit. You know, she would have some clout from Doja Cat, you know, Doja Cat's tour. So I don't know. Okay, I don't know. All right. But what I want to know is, I wonder, does, you know, is colorism playing a big part of her career? Is, is, it, is, that, really, is that what it is, y'all? Like, seriously, think about it. Like, like, let's be real here. Okay, like all BS aside, do you all feel like colorism is affecting Doja's career? Okay, I feel like I don't know. I feel like it could be the reason, but I feel like also you never know because sometimes like things just take time. So it's like I feel like blaming something on something too soon can actually hinder a person's ability because they're like looking for excuses. I don't know. I'm not saying that it's an excuse that she's you know. If you if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. But trust me, I'm not against the whole colorism thing. I know it's really real. I know it's real. But that's like is an ex and isn't it and. Uh, I'm having a hard time articulating what I'm trying to say. But if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. I don't have time to explain myself that much. But yeah, let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on. Kendrick Lamar makes history. Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us has now sold over 5 million units and is eligible for five times platinum. It is the fastest hip-hop song of the decade to achieve this milestone. For over 5 million in four months. This is crazy, okay? This is really insane. All right. I can't believe it. Okay. I can't believe it. But Loki No Shade, um, I am personally tired of the song. I think that it kind of got played out. It got played out once white people got to the song. And I know that may sound like shallow. What do you mean? But I feel like once it gets to that demographic or that, you know, certain person, it gets to be played out. And I'm saying this because, like, it's not a, it's not even like a, like a prejudice comment. It's just like, once something gets too big, it gets to be too, it gets to be too drained out, especially if the joke was meant for all culture. It's like, all right, now y'all have like mainstreamed our joke and mainstreamed our thing. And now it's just played out. You know what I'm saying? Now it just becomes corny. And now y'all have like almost like watered it down and like bland chicken it down. You know, it's like, I don't know. It just, it just becomes really lame. But no, I do love that Kendrick Lamar is doing this thing though. Clock that T. Clock that T. Okay. Um, Drizzy couldn't stand a chance at all, and <laughs> perfect. I love it. I love that. I love it. 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 Uh, uh. Okay, but yes, comment down below. What's your opinion on this, y'all? That's all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, <laughs> and um, I will see you in the next one. Be safe, y'all. Okay, oh, 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 shout out to my channel members. My channel. All right, y'all, be safe. <laughs> be safe. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Oh my gosh, you just you just can't get enough, huh? Be safe. <laughs> Bello girl, be safe. <laughs>